And today was a very, very special day. <laughs> I visited the Danlussi Castle, a beautiful place. I'm really enjoying a lot here. I, I love Northern Ireland. It's my first time, but I hope it's not my last time. Uh, well, my name is Donald. Um, I am from Argentina, but I live in Paraguay. I'm 33 years old. I work as a minister in Paraguay. I'm living in Paraguay since uh, 10 years ago. Four in my family. I married since nine years ago. Uh, my wife is Caroline. Um, and we have uh, two children, two kids. The oldest one is Tommy. He's six years old. Uh, Maya, the, the younger, uh, is, is uh, my baby girl, you know. She is three years old. Uh, my wife, uh, she works as a teacher in St. Andrew's School. It's the, it's the school of the Anglican Church. Paraguay is like two countries at the same time, you know. Uh, for in one side, you can see a country that is growing a lot in financial ways and economic ways, but at the same time, it's a very underdeveloped country, you know. Uh, many people suffer poverty, many people suffer in uh, social exclusion. The evangelical church, we are uh, a little part of the population in, in Paraguay. It's not the only thing I, I do in, in Paraguay. I work as a pastor um, in the St. Andrew School. Go into the classroom with the kids in, in the high school, uh, give a Bible study to them, share with some professors, uh, a devotional, uh, make assemblies with the students. Never in my life I can remember a, a, a time where I didn't believe in God. During my, my high school, one of my classmates invited me to the church. So that's how I started my, my relationship with the church. When I was a teenager, I used to suffer uh, depression. Never went to, to a doctor or a professional. It was very difficult to be happy for something. After go to the church, to get more involved with the, with the pastor, I mean, as a, as a friend, you know. I remember that one day I say, honestly, I don't want to be like that anymore. And he says, well, I think that you need to be thankful to God. And the meaning of the gospel, he said to me, is really have a new life. So if you believe in Jesus, you need to have a new life. At the, at the beginning, it doesn't sound to me like something very useful, you know. At the beginning, it sounded like. And he said to me, keep giving thanks for everything. Give thanks for your sister, for example. And I say, what else? And he say, you have to say, God, thank you for your life. Your life is very important for, for God. And I say, thank you, God, for my life. And I was with my, with my eyes closed, and my hands together. I say, God, thank you for my life. I started to feel very special, and the pastor realized it, and left me alone in, in that place. I found myself uh, giving thanks to God for many days. That not only for my family, not only for me. Giving God, uh, thank you for, I don't know, just for God, for being there. And in some way, He made me, made me understand that He always was there by my side. Um, there are many ways in the church here in Northern Ireland to help the, the church in Paraguay. I think that starting a relationship is the most principal thing. And it's very good when, when someone from, from here goes to Paraguay and see how, how everything is, you know. Also that we can be a blessing for the Northern Ireland church. You know? So I think doing all the things we can support. You know? I think um, the most important is pray for new space into the society for share the gospel, for example. And in not only in one, in one part of the society, you know, I mean in, in, in the whole society in, in Paraguay. That's something that you can be praying for. Another issue is in the St. Andrew School, for example, where I used to work. Um, we had a lot of students with many familiar problems, for example. Um, a lot of students with parents who who are not together, um, a lot of students living in, in broken homes. 
there aren't any person who really don't need Jesus. So for me, it's very important to pray that they understand that that reality. You know, so pray for them for the for the students of the Anna School and the students of the, of the Saint Andrew School. Please. The whole experience here on Ireland is great. I really enjoy it a lot. Something that really was amazing for me here is see how is the Anglican Church here. It's so, so, so much different than the, the way of the Anglican in, in Paraguay. Something that I really learned is diversity in, into the unity, you know. I heard that many times, but my first time I really experienced that. A unity, but in so many different ways in a church that is so different than the Paraguayan church. So all the experience, I think it made me grow up a lot. I think as a minister, you gave me an, an other overview of, of the world and gave me more ideas for my ministry. 